The smartphone in my pocket, the strength of a 1960s NASA supercomputer, the human genome project completion, 3D printing, driverless cars, and the real estate market is going back to the 90s. Nineteen nineties real estate. What do I mean by that? You see, back in the nineties, the general public did not have the same type of visibility that they do now. We know this. In fact, the agents would huddle around a desk because once a month, the real estate directory that had all of the new listings for that month would plop down. Everyone would would jump on that book like a feeding frenzy to know what had just hit the market within the last thirty days so they could quickly get back out to their clients and inform them of everything that's now hit the market. Go, go, go. We're going back to that time, and I'll, I'll tell you why. At the beginning of the year, the NAR, the National Association of Realtors, uh, put in place the, mandata the mandatory clear cooperation. And what that means is, essentially, pre-marketing a listing has been dead because the second you market a listing before it goes active, you actually have to have that listing now active on the MLS within 24 hours. Now, when a listing is active on the MLS, it gets syndicated out to all the other channels. So essentially, as soon as you start to pre-market that listing, it could be anything, talking to somebody, email, uh, mailers, social media blasts, anything at all, paid advertising, it have to be on the MLS active within 24 hours, thus eliminating pre-marketing. Now, as of two days ago, and you can see why this would have hit the real estate industry by storm when we heard this, right? This is a big deal. Two days ago, Tuesday, May 19th, we now have a coming soon section in the MLS, and you probably would have thought that we would have had that already. And I'm gonna tell you why, I'm gonna loop this in. This is why we're back in the 90s right now. The coming soon section in the MLS is visible only by agents that have a subscription. They pay, pay their quarterly dues, realtors, to the SDAR. That's it. There's no syndication of a listing until it goes into the active status. Okay? So these coming soons, they have a maximum shelf life of 21 days. And if that listing agent does not uh, actively turn that coming soon into active status, syndicating it all out, after 21 days, it'll happen automatically. So here's my suggestion moving forward. This, uh, this new act has put a lot of power back into the hands of, of real estate agents, but it has also put on them a whole lot more responsibility because it is now on them to constantly check the coming soons every day because they are not visible now to the general public. So my suggestion, get with your agent, Tell them exactly what it is that you're looking for beyond bed, bath, square footage. Tell them your non-negotiables. If, if you need to have a washer dryer in the unit, if you need to have a patio, if you need to have a view, if you need to be one story, let them know all of this and put it on them to now help them find the home that you want ahead of time. At least we're not using uh, force to use number two pencils, right? I hope this was of value to you guys. Stay safe out there, of course. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.